Alrighty, what's going on y'all? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and today we are going to be doing another next-gen Diecast review. Provided by my good friends at Circle B Diecast, make sure to use that promo code OBBYT to get $5 off the shipping on your next purchase. It's going to be $30 more because you guys know the drill, it ain't going to work unless you spend that kind of money. So, <laughs> but today it's going to be on a Diecast that I think is probably, I think it's in my top five, no, top four, no, top three top three die cast to get for this year and this one i kind of waited but like you know the the, the hype hasn't really kind of died down with this car yet today it's going to be on brad kiselowski's and how many times i gotta say this no he did not want this race in his 2022 violet defense uh ford mustang for rfk racing holy mother of purple this thing is gorgeous i mean as you guys can see right here i mean we got ourselves uh some really unique colors guys the day glow yellow uh we got ourselves a purple and a reflective foil number that's also purple i mean that is just the best of both worlds guys but um this is the paint scheme that made its debut at the uh well at the heat race um for the uh la coliseum um expedition race which of course kazowski Ran pretty shit in that heat race, but we'll get on some more in a second on that. As, uh, yeah, let me tell you what, man. This thing is just so eye-catching and just eye-blooming, and I'm already running out of adjectives to already say what I like about this car. So, that's going to go and segue into uh, the unboxing and the official diecast review of Brad Kozlowski's 2022 Violet Defense car. Alrighty, y'all. We are purple, and we're ready to rock and roll, and I... Don't really know what the hell I was trying to segue into, but anyways, yeah, we got ourselves this beauty out of its box, and holy mother of purple shit. <laughs> I can't, I, I, I don't know how many times I'm going to say purple in this review, because that's all I see, like, it's beautiful. It is an absolutely beautiful diecast, guys. You got yourselves the, this nice day glow yellow, probably not like, I would say it's pretty much like a Menards day glow, but then the star of the show right here is this foil number, which I know it is, you know, going to be like, well, like $13 next year for a foil number. I mean, there he went up like, what, like a uh, dollar as it is, but wow dude this foil number absolutely just looks amazing um i wouldn't be surprised if we actually get this car in nascar authentics but it'll probably lose its magic because nascar authentics diecast don't have the foil numbers because you know for cost reasons but um we've got some sort of really rubbed off goodyear eagle logo heck i, I hey this is probably a, a good card that it uh, i guess it's supposed to be like a replica just but judged by that how that goodyear tire printing is uh, i guess this is like um the, the car that uh well he did drove this at fontana and a few other races um but I think the, the, this paint scheme, I mean, it is pretty much well known for, uh, I would say, possibly not only Brad Kozowski, um, you know, having a little uh, incident at, uh, what was it, qualifying for the uh, Fontana race. Um, he just got loose and, um, yeah. It, it, that's all that just happened so i guess you say that wasn't quite defensive all right i'm sorry about the bad jokes all right we can go into the review <laughs> but yeah i mean it hasn't really been a good year to be a kazowski fan but you know he's had some good moments um coming to the later end of the season i mean he did got that pull at the texas playoff race and also almost won the bristol night race so i thought that was pretty cool but getting back to the diecast guys let me tell you what this is an absolute a I'm so glad this diecast got made, guys. I mean, when when this diecast or the actual render of this car uh, got released to the public and it showed up at the LA Coliseum for the heat race, dude, everyone's eyes was just catching on this. They're like, wow, this is one of the most beautiful paint schemes. And yeah, I said beautiful this because that is a word. But just you could you just tell that like my brain is just trying to process just everything that's going on in this car. It is just beautiful. Whoever designed this paint scheme absolutely deserves the best praise and the best raise of their life because I have never fell in love with the six die cast like since I don't know, maybe the Valvoline's number six car. This right here, probably, I mean, call it, you know, a hot take, but I, I think this is probably the best looking number six car that we got uh, in NASCAR history. Call me crazy, dude. This thing just, I mean, it's not iconic, but, you know, if Kozlowski starts winning races or if he ends up getting his first win with the RFK in this paint team next year, let me tell you what, it's definitely going to be a diecast that you guys are not, and I'm mean, absolutely not going to miss out. And I'm not shitting you guys. This diecast, I mean, when I was at Daytona, all they have is a 124, and I was there for the Xfinity race, and then the next day after that, boom, the 124 already sold out. The 164s, they didn't have any in stock because they'd just been selling out. I mean, who can blame them? Because look at this. I mean, th this is just... <laughs> 
freaking beautiful, man. I mean, I guess you could say, I don't know, it kind of like, I'm going to go all Diva Land here for a second. It kind of has like some Buddy Lazier colors, if you know what I mean, the purple and the yellow. So, I don't know, I do appreciate, you know, Violet Defense and Brad Gazowski for, you know, doing a representation of, uh, you know, of any 500 uh, champion, Buddy Lazier, but, uh, <laughs> from, nine, from uh, 1996. But, um, yeah, ironically, it's the six. But get back to the diecast, guys. Just, just, just we're going to go on a nice little journey and look through this diecast, you know, from the thick of it in and out because this diecast absolutely in this paint scheme just deserves to look at it, it, we deserve to look at every little detail guys the front's not really too exciting right there i kind of wish that you know the purple i guess or the black i guess would have cut off right here uh, but you see it kind of dips down like a u or a v then we get down this side right here of course this is where all the magic happens the purple uh, and it's like a like a saint uh, it's like a like a matte black or something like that and i think that's really cool you got like different types of textures that are going on here with the foil number and that foil number guys i mean it's not just purple or like this you know this reflective magenta or purple it's also outlined this day glow yellow like a highlight yellow which looks really cool it kind of gives that nice little you know uh you know like a big oomph look if you know what i mean and we got the uh you know the rfk lines right there i'm just gonna call that and then you got like little like streamers or something like that that are that it's like white and like there's just so much going on like my mind it just says hey you know you have eyes you can look at this paint scheme and just be like oh wow i'm an ace <laughs> for real i mean th this is an absolutely just a, a, a trifecta of a paint scheme guys and it's coming from rfk who would have thought um but just Oh my god, guys. I mean, it's a damn shame. What is a damn shame, though? We got ourselves a freaking paint chip. A purple paint chip. Well, that's something you probably don't see every day. Inside the car. Again, the fine folks at Lionel Racing always love to give us, you know, good quality die cast. <clears throat> Anyways. That's pretty much what I got to say about that right there. I mean, I've already made my points, but, um, you know, in, in honesty, honesty, guys, I absolutely think that this is a die cast I would highly and i mean highly gets all right i mean if you're looking for a bragazowski diecast that want that 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 you want to stand out all right and show off in your collection i think this is the one i mean don't get me wrong the castrol car and the caller generators car and all those other cars that came out before they have been great but this one i think takes the top all right like i said it's probably one of my top three favorite cars this year um you know it's probably right up there with the Noah Greggs and Wendy's car and a few others, but definitely in my top three for sure because I, I just have, I, I, I literally got so excited seeing this car, uh, you know, at the track. And it's a damn shame I didn't see this car actually at the track, but on TV, I mean, that, that's a feeling I haven't had in God knows how long. So that's pretty cool. And come from a guy who's not really my favorite driver, I mean, I, I grew up as a car alerts fan, so I was supposed to hate this guy. But, <laughs> but anyways, leave me a comment below if you have it, guys have anything else to share right there. As, uh, yeah, I mean, I know this is a little bit more of a different review, but uh, I just, I don't know. I just think this car is absolutely just worth getting, guys. But feel free to comment below if you have anything else to share as this is going to wrap up the Diecast review. This next gen Diecast review of Brad Kazowski's 2022 Violent Defense Ford Mustang for uh, RFK Racing. Comment, like, subscribe. This has been OBB. Appreciate you guys' continuing support on this channel. It really means a lot to me. And I'll uh, we'll see you guys next time on some more next gen content. And uh, yeah, this off season may be here, but the Diecast reviews aren't slowing down.